we asked you to vote for the 2017 movies you wanted us to make an honest trailer for. And now, your number one choice. Wow, you guys clearly hate us. Clearly. After every Transformers movie, there is hope. Hope that they won't make another <laughs> one. Now, the Baybots are back for his final chapter. Until they return up to 14 more times. <sighs> no! Transformers, Is that still the, case, the last night. Do they still have that many? Strap in for another Shakespearean tale, in the sense that it's a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, <laughs> signifying nothing. But you can bet your life there'll be some big ass explosions. Absolutely. Mild to moderate racism. Hey, Chief! My name is Sherman. It's okay to be a kid, little <laughs> J-Lo. Aw, oh, yeah! Decepticons is in the street! And action that looks like two Radio Shacks doing Kama Sutra in a hurricane. <laughs> two Radio Shacks. How we doing? We done yet? Nope. Still going, huh? <laughs> Forget everything you knew about the Transformers, because so did Michael Bay, who in the third one said Cybertron was destroyed, right. and in this one said, actually, it's back. In the fourth one said Megatron is now Galvatron, and then this one said, uh, never mind, he's Megatron again. <laughs> and in the first one said the Transformers came to Earth to find the Allspark and learn English from the internet. But in this one said, you know what, f*** it, they were allies with King Arthur <laughs> and one of them killed Hitler. That's the watch that killed Hitler. See, we're not the only ones insulting the intelligence of Transformers movie fans, so is he. <laughs> because we live in the darkest timeline, prepare for another Transformers movie that's mostly about the humans. Yeah. Jaeger is back, and he's still an inventor. I'm an inventor. That's still from Texas? They have the support of the entire world. Now, he'll <laughs> team up with Vivian Wembley, a brilliant British uterus. <laughs> found a man yet, Vivian. There's a reason you're always single. What? Generic military guys yelling generic military things. New target! Three o'clock high! Move, move, move! Blaze it! Blaze it! Blaze it! <laughs> a random street urchin so awkwardly crammed in, uh, even she doesn't know why she's here. What are you doing here? I don't know. And Anthony Hopkins, who delivers a brilliant portrayal of a man who won an Oscar and then realized he's doing a Transformers movie. <laughs> My own family had some small part in all this. It's okay, Sir Anthony. At least you didn't get peed on by Bumblebee. <laughs> 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 the rage-fueled violent Decepticons are back, and the only things that can stop them are the rage-fueled violent Autobots. I will kill you! I will kill you! I'll burn you so bad you'll wish you died as a child. <laughs> and their rage-fueled violent human allies. <laughs> Off the sub! No! You want to get punched in the face really hard? <laughs> no. Caught in the middle is Optimus Prime. <laughs> I am Optimus Prime. I. I'm Optimus Prime. We get it. <laughs> I am Optimus Prime. Shut up! Shut up! He's been forced by a lady with dreads to turn against his family. Dreads. And if you said that's the exact plot of Fate and the Furious, congratulations! You saw some really bad movies in 2017. Wonder across a two and a half hour runtime. Is Optimus good? Is he bad? Do I care? Or does he go for half the movie? Why is there a kung fu robot butler? Am I high? What do words even mean anymore? <laughs> Hurry, man, the dissolving scrotum. So roll out with a franchise Michael Bay is so bored with, he's literally making characters out of garbage. <laughs> Builds up the importance of Bumblebee's voice, only to leave in the temp audio from his sound engineer. A sting like a bee and films the whole thing on three different aspect ratios that he rapidly shifts between for the entire movie. <laughs> Gah, I cannot unsee that now. <laughs> Starring Jar Jar Clinks, <laughs> Silence of the Grabs, <laughs> The Boogie Knight, <laughs> Megan Foe, Lil Orphan Angry, <laughs> Drunkle Door, mm -hmm. Star Wars, and actual quotes from the film that oh, perfectly God. describe the Transformers writer's room. Logic has left the building. A Michael Bay set. Big personalities just sort of crashing and run, bloody. A Michael Bay script. <laughs> from you, it sounds, I don't know, vaguely racist. <laughs> Michael Bay's answer to everything. Blow it up! <laughs> and us, after writing another honest trailer for yet another Transformers movie. Has my life been wasted? <laughs> Have you ever felt like that? <laughs> Sigh, <laughs> robot. Mm -mm -mm. You know what's almost as awkward as that long scene about having sex with Mark Wahlberg's underage daughter in the last movie? An even longer scene about how long it's been since Mark Wahlberg had sex. No whoopee, Mr. Kate. It's been a while. Well, how long's a while? A week, a month, a year? <laughs> Make it stop! <laughs> 
So, you have a new Transformer script for me. Yes, sir, I do. And after five movies, I think this will be the last mm -hmm. one. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, you're messing with me. Uh, yeah, I am. We're gonna be making these movies till we're dead. I already feel dead on the inside. Same here, my man. I forget what it feels like to have a soul. A what? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what happens in the movie? Well, you know how everybody loves Optimus Prime? Yeah. Well, in this movie, he's gonna be like brainwashed and turned uh. evil. Oh, wow, that actually sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, and so then after that, you know, He's barely gonna be in it. Yeah. Oh, interesting choice. Yeah, because I thought, hey, what if Optimus Prime was evil? And then that's as far as that thought went. <laughs> Fair enough. Is it gonna be hard to turn him nice again? No, no, no. Super easy. Barely an yeah. inconvenience. Really? Yeah, well, Bumblebee goes, hey, Optimus, it's me, Bumblebee. And so, you know, that does the <laughs> trick pretty much immediately. Great, so what hey. happens in the movie? Ah, <laughs> uh, same old. Same old? Yeah, you know, everybody wants to get their hands on a thing that can destroy the Earth, and this yep. time it's a staff. Ooh, staffs are tight. Yeah, but this isn't just any staff. It's Merlin's staff. Merlin? Like the legendary wizard Merlin? That's right. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> well, essentially, we're gonna say that Transformers have been on Earth for thousands of years. And so every legend or historical event has to do with them in some way. But didn't we say in the first movie that the Transformers came to Earth to find the Allspark? We did mm. say that. Well, then maybe you should find a way to respect the mythology that you yourself established. <laughs> well, but I don't want to do that. Okay, okay, it's fine. <laughs> okay, good. Any other new stuff I should know about? <laughs> well, wanna. there's a little kid named Isabella in this one. Oh, what does she do? Practically nothing. Huh. Also, the Earth is a Transformer. What? The Earth is a Transformer, I don't know. What? I, I mean, full know. disclosure, I kinda let my five-year-old nephew write part of this one. <laughs> oh, you did, that's cute. Yeah, he actually had some good ideas. Like what? Like, for example, he says that the army guys go pew, 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 pew. And I thought that was really good. <laughs> oh, the army guys go pew, 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 pew. I like that. It does make sense if you think about it. Uh. And are we gonna do anything new in the Transformers fight scenes? No, not really. It's still gonna look like you toss some electronics in a wood chipper and just kinda <laughs> watch that for a while. Hey, Very wood cool. Chipper. And hey, I was thinking... <laughs> Ah, never mind. What is it? Nah, it's <laughs> dumb. No, come on, tell me. Well, I thought it'd be cool to get like a really well-respected actor mm, in this mm, one, mm. but it's like the fifth Transformers movie, so it's gonna be impossible to do that. Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Hey, I say that. <laughs> oh, I've literally never heard you say that. Huh? Anyway, we could get pretty much any actor we want with this technique I learned from the Russians. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? They call it Kompromat. What's that about? Basically, you just get your hands on some compromising material about someone, and then you could get them to do whatever you want. Oh, so like blackmail. Yeah, yeah, right. Wow, people do that in Hollywood? Oh, yeah. How do you think they got Al Pacino to do Jack and Jill? Or Robert De Niro to do Rocky and Bullwinkle? Or Al Pacino and Robert De Niro to do Righteous Kill? Or Robert De Niro to do Shark Tale? Or Robert De Niro to do Little Fockers? Or Robert De De Niro to do The Comedian, or Robert De Niro to do Dirty Grandpa. Wow, they must have a lot of dirt on De Niro. Oh yeah, he's... he's done some stuff. So who do you want to blackmail to be in this movie? Uh, you know who I bet I can get some dirt on? <laughs> Is that one of the shorter pitch meetings? I know like the the Justice League one is like a really short one, like the first official one that he did, I think on his channel. But that's that's a really short pitch meeting. I like how it ended though, like a whole lot of dirt on, on Robert De Niro. Like that's, he's obviously got something that he did because he's in some really bad movies. Some great ones, some classics, but he's also got some some garbage in his uh, IMDB profile. These are great, these are great. Which one's your favorite though? Honest trailer or the pitch meeting? Early pitch meeting, very early pitch meeting. The honest trailer uh, seemed like relatively newer, uh, you know, in comparison to what they've been doing. I might have to give this one an honest trailer. I don't know. I think the pitch meeting was great, but it didn't talk a lot about the movie. I mean, again, it's the same thing as all these uh, Transformers movies. So they were just kind of rehashing things. Uh, but uh, I, I like how the pitch meeting did go off on a tangent on the casting a little bit, but the honest trailer did focus more on the movie overall. So I don't know, maybe that gives it more points for me. This is one of the worst ones. I mean, they're all bad, except for the first one. And I like the third one. I like Dark of the Moon. Uh, but this one was really bad. I actually saw this one in theaters. I was in Detroit and I went with some friends and it was a horrible movie. Like I, at one point I actually almost fell asleep. It was boring because it was just the same old thing and the story makes no sense. So yeah, it's it's really bad. But let me know your thoughts on Transformers The Last Night. Let me know your thoughts on these two videos. Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments as always below. To you guys, subscribers, members, watchers, 
I love that you guys watch each and every day and come back and then check me out. And, uh, you know, we enjoy these together. We laugh together. We watch together. I really enjoy that. So I thank you guys so much to my hyper crew. Verbal shout out for you guys. Brian Tidwell, Steve O, Slepnir, Dash Milner, K613, Daniel Lopez, Portal on Mobile 44, Kratos, William Cooper, and Shane Cook. Thank you guys for choosing that top tier crew. I really appreciate you guys. While you're still here, hit the like button if you haven't done so yet. Also hit the subscribe button. It goes from red to gray. If you're subscribed, you'll know because it's gray. But if you're not, it's red. You probably see me on your timeline a lot uh, and you think you're subscribed, but just check for me real quick. Check, hit that subscribe button. You won't miss out on any other videos. Also, if you haven't, check out some of the most popular videos on the channel and the most recent reaction or review right over here. If you've seen all that, I'll see you guys in the comments. We can talk more about this or you can check out some of the other content below from the creators I've gotten there. They got some great content. I think you'd enjoy it. That's all I got for you guys on this one. I'll see you in the comments and I will also see you on the next video. Take care.